Hi and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are reacting to I have three Valentine's Day hedgehog items. Mm, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and today with me is Samantha, Hello. Josh, mm -hmm. me which is Susanna, Angelica, and Lauren. Hope you guys enjoy our reaction to this. If I was to play any kind of a character Sonic, in any Sonic Tails. gamer movie, I would love to be Tails because I'd want to be Sonic's so best buddy. He was cool, like he's like tail. edgy, Mega. he had that wildness factor. Faster than Mario, the hedgehog with attitude. Wow. Hello, I'm Barry Evans, and welcome to yesterday's Barry Sonic 1992's Ooh, Game Black. Room and Museum. I like his shirt. Wow, look There's at also that. a Mario yeah, plushie, too. Oh my gosh, Sonic and Tails cat. Oh, exactly. Oh, yeah, that's a new Lauren thing for 1991. Right. So I was 23 oh, yeah. years old, and my best friend Manuel Gonzalez well, just got yeah, a yeah, new yeah, apartment, yeah, yeah. and he bought a Sega <laughs> Genesis, and I didn't know it. And the first thing I heard was the Sega. And it's like, that's kind of, kind of funny that the game kind of sings out at you. We started playing it for a little bit while we took a break, and we loved it so much that the next day I went out and bought my own Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis does what Nintendo don't. As you walk in, this is the first case you see, and these are some of the very first Sonic the Hedgehog items I've collected. I started collecting Sonic the Hedgehog merchandise basically after Sonic the Hedgehog 2 came out because merchandise started to appear here and there. This item right here is the item that started the entire collection, and it was the Sonic the Hedgehog bubblegum container, which held candy from 1993. Later on, I saw a poster and uh, more toys. I just started decorating my room with it. I said, this is really cool. What was the most weird or interesting item is a mold machine part for the UK Burger King toy. It's an exact mirror image of the toy, so I know that this is the mold part that made the toy. It's very heavy, so it's on the bottom shelf, so if it fell over, it wouldn't shatter the glass. And I started thinking it would be great to start recreating my childhood arcade. It was called Yesterdays. It was a brand new arcade that opened up in 1981 in our new mall. I wanted to recapture that environment in this room. Things you would never expect to find at Valentine's. Like a CD case. Oh, cute. Found those at Walmart in 1996. Sega has a dedicated theme park in Japan called Joypolis. These are the tokens that you get to play their redemption games with. Me and my wife, Stacy, had the wonderful opportunity to visit Japan in 2019, and it was the most amazing experience I've ever seen. The Japanese people are so friendly and nice. Everything is spotless and clean, and they celebrate video games there every day, everywhere. Perfect timing. A package came in today. It came from Tokyo, Japan. Gotta be very careful with the razor blades. That's true. I White glove it all. <laughs> this looks like it's going to be awesome. Anything that says Sega Sonic the Hedgehog is definitely from Ooh, Japan. I like that box. Oh, oh my gosh. Ooh, this is a very this. rare oh Sonic the Hedgehog that and Tails so plush walkie talkie set. I oh my gosh, oh. Oh. The Sonic it's got an antenna sticking out of the so top awesome. like a cell phone. Oh. And you put these earbuds in your ears to be able to talk back and forth. There's Sonic. And don't forget your buddy Tails. This is a very exciting addition to the collection. There's a lot of amazing Sonic the Hedgehog stuff that never sees the US shores. The internet opened up the world for, for collectors. Oh, they were uh, $1,700. They're very rare. These were actually released in like 1992. This right here is my uh, Sonic the Hedgehog uh, commercial kiosk from Sega. As you can see, I've got Sonic the Hedgehog playing on it, of course. It's a beautiful piece. I made oh, a little wow. modification to it, gave it blue and red lights to give it more sonic feel. The Toys oh, R Us cool. in Pasadena was remodeling and they had actually had it out in a uh, storage container oh, in the parking lot. They let me have it. I didn't pay a penny for it. I bought this shirt in 1994 yeah. and I went oh, when I had to get my driver's license yeah. renewed that year, I made sure I was wearing that shirt and I actually tried to stand <laughs> taller so it wouldn't look bad. One of the things I treasure the most in my collection are the commercial signs, posters, and displays for Sonic the Hedgehog. It came from Denny's. My most favorite one, of course, 
They were Sonic the Hedgehog like, 2 was the official. Are you up to it? Poster for my most favorite Sonic game is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. They gave him an unlimited budget to make a better game, a sequel for Sonic the Hedgehog. It was the very first game I ever put money down on or pre-purchased. I remember counting down the days to November the 24th of 1992, which was a Tuesday, and they called it Sonic Tuesday. And it still says, coming to you November the 24th, 1992. I actually built this in 1993 when Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was still new. To actually play the game, the, the joystick and all the buttons are hooked to the Genesis. And to start the game, you have to drop in a quarter. The coin switch is on the start button. And of course, my most favorite game is in it, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Sonic the Hedgehog lapel pins. Wow. This one was, was a corporate thing that they gave Dolphins out to employees. I think that was for number one in sales. Working in a museum below, I learned about te temperature and humidity control is very important. If you have any kind of fluorescent lighting in your collection or game room, get rid of it immediately and replace it with LED because fluorescent lighting emits powerful UV and it will fade and destroy all your items. This is the crown jewels in my collection, the Sonic and Tails statues from Toys R Us flagship stores in 1994. I actually kept back to the store managers for almost a decade. 2001, they called and said, hey, if you want these statues, Please come get them right now because we're remodeling. And I slipped out of work and went and picked them up before they changed their mind. Yeah, the Sonic movies have been perfect. Oh, I love them very that. much. Yeah, when the first Sonic love, trailer uh, came uh, out and everybody so saw the appearance of Sonic, so everybody cool. was like, what is this? This is terrible. It would kind of look like me if I was painted blue. <laughs> and I really believe if they didn't do it over, the movie would not have been a success. Yeah. It was just incredible uh, to have Guinness World Record give me vindication from my collection. To get it was no easy feat. It was a lot of work. It took three weeks of eight to 10 hour days to catalog just the Sonic the Hedgehog items alone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. To have my collection oh, recognized by Guinness World Records is a life fulfilling you event shut to the me. H up? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. to this guy having 3,000 Sonic items. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe, and hit the little notification bell to keep notified when we <coughs> upload.